Hey guys, um, you might have seen the video, uh, no, not, not video, uh, I made a couple of posts on Facebook um, last night about um, this Kenwood, where I said that it was probably in a very long time, it was one of the worst I've seen, <coughs> and um, I showed you some picture of it, how it looked inside, uh, before and after I cleaned it. Um, it was uh, quite a job, <laughs> uh, but I don't mind doing it. It's uh, it's kind of like it's fun. It's fun when you see the result in the end. Um, however, there's a backstory to this one that I didn't mention yesterday. I wanted to save that for this video. Um, this receiver here, the Kenwood BR seven fifteen, I think it is. Yeah, uh, or it's the 16. It's kind of hard to say. It's either a 715 or 716. Um, power's on, so that's a good thing, right? Um, I didn't have time to test it yesterday after I had cleaned it because I had to go and, and do some shipping and FedEx and UPS and stuff like that. And I had also, after I had cleaned all the dirt and grime and all the shit out of it, I also did um, contact cleaner on everything in here. Um, well, every contacts and knobs and stuff like that. Um, so I wanted to let that dry properly before I put it on and do some testing. So when I got back this morning, uh, I put the lid back on and uh, cleaned the lid, cleaned the front a little bit more. Uh, it was nasty. It this is was one nasty one. Uh, I had a huge pile of dirt on the bench and the floor around me where I was cleaning it, and um, yeah. But the backstory of it is, this one came from the same lot as I got last weekend with a lot of stuff in it, and there was a two or three or four pieces in that lot out of many many that didn't work. Uh, no use for them. Uh, well, I, ha I have use for them because I can take parts out of them. Uh, but um, this was one of them that was in that lot. He said he didn't know if it was working or not because this one comes from a house that was, uh, that was burning and was on fire. And what they had done was they had used um, water and a fire extinguisher in that room uh, before the fire department came or something like that. So this one was, had been soaked in water and and ashes and fire extinguisher power powder, you name it. What was in there? There was so much stuff in there. It's crazy. And of course, this it, it hadn't been used ever since. It just been stored away, probably. And uh, so some of the stuff in here has started to had started to rust. Like the top of the transformer um, had had some surface rust on it because of the water and stuff. And of course, um, water and um, fire extinguisher powder. Um, when that makes us. That's be that becomes a big, big mess. Um, so, um, I had no idea when I started cleaning it or when working on it, if it was going to work or not. But I spent a few hours yesterday and I cleaned it. And um, I was hoping when I got here this morning that it would work. So, um, like I said, I put it back together. And uh, I power button and it powers on so that's a good thing right um and then i was like yeah might as well just hook up some cheap speakers and i have my test speakers here i don't care about these speakers that much they they don't mean much to me at all so i use these as test speakers when i uh, hook things up to things i don't know if they work or not uh, i do some basic readings on them and measurements but you never know i, I like to test with speakers if i blow them i don't care i have 10 other pairs like this around small cheap speakers that I don't care about. Um, so I hooked the speakers up and um, hooked up a source 
and um, <laughs> it works. It freaking works. And uh, it plays pretty good too. I haven't tested it on any bigger speakers yet. I just tested it on this one, but um, it responds to the, the wheel, the, the volume wheel and all that stuff. It responds to all commands that I give it. It was in the beginning, it was a little bit slow on the volume. And when I, when I turn the volume, it, the display, it goes from like zero and then you can see dB measurements. Uh, it was lagging a little bit in the beginning, but the more I use it, now it's like seems to be stabilizing at the correct le level. So yeah, it works. <laughs> I have to say, I, I am uh, I'm amazed what this little sucker has gone through and been through, and <clears throat> and still work. Um, that's that's pretty amazing, because when I got it, when I opened it up, when I got it, this whole top cover the metal cover on top here the case had that white stuff all over it i mean it was all over it even on the back the speaker terminals the rca inputs covered uh, inside and out with that white powder and so i i, I didn't high, have high hopes when i started but of course you never know um so i, I took a chance um and i had some downtown downtime uh yesterday evening afternoon evening so i was like yeah let's let's just do it and see it might be a good project it works <laughs> it works uh, and that's good because now it's completely clean and completely serviced works great i looked it up on ebay they they they, they listed for like 100 to 150 bucks so good for me i can probably sell it now and get some uh, some money back for what i spent this weekend so, um, <laughs> never give up on, on audio equipment, I tell you. Um, and even if you, if you are inexperienced uh, when it comes to these kind of things, don't be afraid. If it is that bad, you really can't fuck it up any more than what it already is. Um, so even if you are an inexperienced audio guy uh, and you, you, you come across something like that, and you want to try and clean it, yeah, do it. I mean, why not? And uh, you might say, well, what do you use to clean it with? Well, outside, um, I can give you some. Oh, on the outside, Windex. That's all I use on the outside. That is a wonder thing on the outside. Cleaning it inside, I have a few tools. Nothing fancy. You can even you can buy the, all the tools that I use, except for one. Um, well, you can buy that one too, but you can't buy it cheap. All, all the stuff that I use, you can buy at the dollar store for one to three or four dollars, all together. So, um, you you want to know? <laughs> okay. Well, I for for starters, um, I use compressed air. I have a compressor that I that is hooked up um, with adjustable PSI. So when I do these, I do them on the lowest PSI, which I think is like 50 PSI, 40 PSI, something like that. And you have to be careful, but I, I do it on a distance, but it's adjustable from like 40 up to about 120, 130 PSI. So I use that. If there is areas that I know is a little bit sensitive and can't do that, then I just use these. This works okay, not great, but okay. Um, then you go over contact. Well, uh, before that, my best tool, the best tool for this, is just a regular, soft, the softest paintbrush you can find. I have them in different sizes to get into creases and nooks and crannies and tight spaces and I have the bigger ones but they have to be the soft ones this is the best tool you can have and then of course contact cleaner and um, lubrication stuff like that um, that's basically it when it comes to cleaning I don't do the um, power wash thing i don't take it outside and put it on the ground and use a power washer or a, a garden hose i don't do that kind of shit 
<coughs> um, strictly just air and elbow, elbow grease and, and just regular cheap things like this. You can get a six or eight pack of these at the dollar store for like what a dollar two dollars last your lifetime um and they turned out like this total clean even the top is totally clean on it now i don't know if you can see it but um so um i have to say and it turned out the way i wanted it to turn out so um, I'll do a test on it, um, it's Friday today, next week, I'll do a test on it next week and see how it works, hook up some bigger speakers and these rotten things here. Um, I think you can try and hook them up to some techniques and some infinity and I'll do the JBL and some Sony Vega, some small Sony Vegas and I even have some inter audio, Bose, Bose inter audio here, I can do those too. To see how it works on different types of speakers, uh, and I'll get the—I haven't even looked up the specifications on it yet, so I'll get the spe specs on it and then see how it is, and that way we can take a test from there. But yeah, the the dirty bad one is now the clean good one who works perfectly. Um, so that's what I want to make a video about today. Have a nice day.